it's endless space again here with you if you're new to my channel please go ahead and please subscribe right there somewhere there here or there and if you're um, a subscriber thank you so much for sticking out with endless space and thank you for the love on my last post on how to make sobolo if you have not seen that please go over and check out that video it's very very helpful today we're gonna make something amazing and today we're gonna make shawarma shawarma is a Lebanese dish which is made out of pita bread and some sumptuous juicy ingredients stick with me and we would learn right. so we're gonna go over all the ingredients I have here and then we're gonna get cooking so we have some chicken that's chicken breast and I've cut it up into chunks I have some bread um, these are actually wraps I did not get the pita bread so the alternative is actually some wraps and these are wheat wraps we're trying to get healthy right <laughs> and then I have some spices here of course I have some um, foodie spice right here I have some um, curry powder some chicken seasoning and also some cubes and some salt and then some bell peppers all kinds of bell peppers the red the green the orange every good thing in here and then I have some cut up lettuce red cabbage and some carrots then this is the butter we would actually use this butter and the brush to spread on the um, flatbread before we actually toast it then I have some onions here chopped up onions and I will be making my favorite favorite sauce it's a mixture of ketchup and mayo. This is my alternative to making a sauce. You could go ahead and use any kind of sauce you want that you use for your sandwich or your wraps. Then I have my frying pan, which we're gonna be making all the delicious stuff in here. Watch out and we're gonna learn something. I am so super excited and thank you okay, for guys. Now. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and actually heat up the frying pan. I have a little bit of oil, like a teaspoon of oil in here to heat up. And I'm gonna go ahead and season my chicken. First, I'm gonna add some salt, just a little bit of salt, like half a teaspoon of salt, all of the Maggi, all the foodie spice, some chicken seasoning, and some curry. We're gonna leave some of the curry for later on for the veggies. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up, all up. This is gonna be really yummy. I can't wait to taste this. And I can't wait for y'all to try it and let me know what you think. Stir it all up really well so it's all seasoned up. What you can also do is you can actually season this overnight or for a couple of hours. But I'm still gonna go ahead and still put it in the pan just the way it is. the moment this pan is hot, put it in the chicken into the hot oil just to toss it up. It's not necessarily you frying it because we're just trying to get this chicken cooked so we can use it for our shawarma. Again, this is chicken shawarma but you can make the beef shawarma also which is the same process just the only protein is actually beef that you're using. So I'm going to leave this to actually cook up. And then after you can leave this on for like 5 to 10 minutes depending on how cooked you want it. I want my chicken really really cooked to the core. So I'm going to actually leave this on for like 12 minutes whilst I turn and toss it so it doesn't burn out. Alright? Okay guys. So, so far this is how far we've come. I just finished the first one. It should look something like this. Juicy and yummy. And we're doing the second one. With this, you have to be consistently turning it so it doesn't burn. And um, to the the way you want to cook, it's all up to you. I want, As I said, I want mine very cooked, so I left it on for like 12 minutes, both sides, and then turn it 12 minutes again. Then I kind of leave it on there for about a minute or two. So pretty much, I'll say 14 to 15 minutes of doing this chicken just so it's really, really cooked to the core and we don't have any pink chicken. We don't want anybody getting sick, right? So I'm gonna just keep turning this as I am. I am doing right now. And then, oh my God, my, lip, my mouth is like really, really watery right now. Can't wait to taste this. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and please send in your comments. I'm gonna continue to do this. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm gonna leave it on for 12 minutes. I'm gonna leave it on for 12 more minutes and then I would come back and take it off. So we are back again. I'm done with the chicken. See how sumptuous it looks. We're gonna set this aside and then we're gonna actually saute some onions and then the bell peppers that we have here. I'm gonna start with the onions first. This is the same pan we use for the chicken. So whatever spice that is left in here, we're actually gonna mix it all up in the veggies. And then I'm gonna go ahead with the bell peppers. So the only thing that's not gonna go on fire is actually the, um, the lettuce and the red cabbage with the carrots. The rest of the stuff I just saute a little bit, but still keeping the crunch. So it's still crunchy and juicy at the same time when we actually wrap it around the, the bread. So this is me just sauteing it. And I didn't add any more oil. Whatever oil was in for the chicken is the same oil I'm actually using for the veggies. So we can still retain the seasoning we have and use less of seasoning, which is less salt actually. So yeah, this is something you could do and eat for lunch. Um, as some brunch or even as a snack. It's a little heavy on the side, so when you eat this, it, it's really filling also. The curry that I have in this, actually not all of it. I actually use like one tablespoon of curry for both the chicken and the veggies, but I'm not even gonna use all of it because I don't want my um, shawarma smelling of a lot of curry. And then, Toss it a little bit. And we're gonna actually take it out. We're gonna actually take it out of the pan now. We're gonna transfer it into the pan. Oh, the bowl, my bad, sorry. I mean the bowl. Shawarma in the making. So the next thing I'm gonna actually do is actually, I have my hands already washed. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the wrap and put it in here just to warm it up. Press it on it. We'll do this before we put the batter, we spread the batter in it just to get it warm up. You can leave it cold if you want to, but I kind of like my wraps warm. And this is actually a four serving shawarma. So you do this and I'm gonna do this for all four of them and then I'll be right back. So I have everything ready right here. I have my chicken, which is done, the sauteed veggies, my flatbread, which I warmed up. Um, because I warmed it up, I don't need to put it back when I make it. I went ahead to make one and I'm gonna show you how I wrap it up all in it. I'm gonna make the sauce now. What I need is this is a table te teaspoon. Sorry, I'm gonna use two teaspoons of mayonnaise. I love to catch up, so I'm gonna make this a little bit. So two and some little bit. I stir it up. I love this sauce. You just stir it all up. Or you could actually go in and pour it straight into the lettuce, red cabbage, and onions. So I'm gonna actually just stir this up. And then you have an amazing sauce. So what you need to do is, this is the melted butter we have here. I'm gonna just brush it all around it. Guys, please make sure your hands are washed because we're gonna use our hands for a lot of things. I'm gonna get some sauteed be be red bell peppers with onions. There. 
some um, flat breads or wraps are actually bigger than this so the bigger the wraps the more ingredients that go into it and then I'm gonna give this much that's how much I want it's all up to your preference and then the lettuce the red cabbage and the carrots As I said, we're gonna be using our hands. We're just gonna push everything in. So we always wanna make sure our hands are washed. And the last thing we do is to actually grab some sumptuous juicy chicken we made. I'm gonna do two because of the size of the wraps. Again, it depends on the size of your wrap. The bigger your wrap, the more ingredients you put in there. So this is what I do. All you need to do is to do this way, this way, and then this way, this way and boom I don't have a toothpick so I went ahead to use this just put it in here all the way like that and then do the same thing this way this way and this way and then you put it in here and you're good so we have it here so what you can do now is oh it got in there let me do this way. there we go so some you could choose to actually sprinkle some of the sauce on top of it just like that to get it all yummy or you could actually make it plain just like this so we have our butter here raise it all up in here again wash your hands because you're gonna be using your hands to kind of gather out the ingredients into the center all around it like three times all around it and then I go ahead and add my bell peppers. Again, the bigger your wraps or the bigger your bread, the more ingredients. So I'm just gonna make it little by little, okay? I'm gonna add some sauce, this much in here. All right, go ahead with my lettuce and carrots and red cabbage in here. All right, okay. And then, as I said, two chicken because of the size of my wrap. So I'm gonna use two chicken in there. Wash your hands, there we go. In here, there we go. And then this is what I did. You wrap it up this way, right? You wrap it up this way again. And then actually you could do this, this way, and then this way, and then this, this way and then this way then you take this put it in there just to hold it again you can use toothpick I don't have a toothpick so this is my alternative and then there we go let me do this a little bit closer so we have it all right there we have it so you can put it here so let me know how you make your shawarma the first one I did I actually put in the sauce on top you could do it for all of them let me know how you make your shawarma thank you so much for watching NS space really really appreciate it please go ahead and subscribe to my channel click the button somewhere here or here like my video share comment and subscribe and comment and let me know how you did yours and how yours went thank you for watching me make shawarma have a good day peace and love and get up and do something Love you all. God bless. Bye.